What's up guys, The Force Unboxed here and today I'm going to be having a look at the new 3 and 3 quarter inch Kylo Ren unmasked figure from The Force Awakens. I just got him maybe about like 45 minutes ago and I've had a little bit of time to actually digest the figure and I gotta say I absolutely love this guy and he is definitely a standout figure from the new wave that just came out. We'll go ahead and we'll have a closer look at the box. Some pretty cool character art at the side there. You can see he's unmasked and he's got his lightsaber in hand ignited. Kylo Ren title right there, Disney and Hasbro, basic Star Wars The Force Awakens logo with Kylo Ren at the top, go ahead and we'll flip the box around, so you can see uh, some of the other characters that you need in this wave to complete the super weapon in the center with all their extra pieces that they do come with, so with this you need Kylo Ren, you need the First Order Stormtrooper Squad Leader, and you need Nee Num, who, uh, both characters I just can't wait to get my hands on, like I, uh, I hope to find them in Walmart or Toys R Us or something like that sometime soon. And uh, if I do, I definitely won't hesitate to pick them up. There's a brief little read-up at the top there. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the description to show up on the camera because the font is so small. So I'll go ahead and I'll read it to you guys. It says, A dark warrior strong with the Force, Kylo Ren commands First Order missions with a temper as fiery as his unconventional lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Got all the little... Uh, things at the bottom there, I don't know what to call them, warnings I guess, Disney and Hasbro once again, so go ahead, we'll get the box out of the way, we'll get right to the figure itself, turn them around for you guys, do a quick little 360, wicked, I do have another Kylo Ren right here, so that we can uh, compare them, this one's hood is actually uh, noticeably a lot bigger just so, because you can remove it from his head. That's pretty cool. Another thing that I noticed is that this one's hand is posed as if he was like torturing his victims to extract information like he does with Ray and Poe in The Force Awakens. Whereas this one is just like another slot so that he could uh, fit his uh, lightsaber. Let's see. So there you have it. Another thing that I noticed is that this one's legs are actually poking out from his robes. It's the same with this one on the back here. So he's like almost in like a combat uh, position. Whereas this one, his robes just cover his legs completely. So that's pretty cool. I really dig this figure for uh, actually being like a little bit more uh, of a standout from the what we're used to as far as Kylo Ren is concerned. If you guys have the three and three quarter inch armor up pack of Kylo Ren without his hood, uh, without his uh, with his removable scarf, actually, you see his helmet and everything like that. You guys will uh, see it's just basically the same as this one over here with the legs. So uh, kudos to this one for standing out. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, remove the hood itself. You guys can see I'll bring him up for a close up, and it looks just like Adam Driver. It was absolutely fantastic head sculpt. I, I can't believe it. Like, they absolutely nailed it with this figure. With the hair, with the paint and everything. The eyebrows, the nose. It's just absolutely wicked. Great little uh, side view there. Really resembles Ky uh, Kylo Ren or Adam Driver. It's definitely one of the better head sculpts that I've seen on a three and three quarter inch figure for sure. I'll have a quick look at the, his lightsaber here. I like what they do with the with the lightsaber blade itself and how they make it look like it's unstable. A lot of cool little details in the saber itself. It's not the same color as it is in the film, but that's okay. It's uh, not a huge deal. It's not a big deal at all, actually. I think it's a really cool accessory, actually. Go ahead and we'll put that back in his hand there. So basic five points articulation. His head does turn. His arms go up. And both of his legs go up as well. This arm goes up, too. I think I'm going to pose him just like this. The map. You've seen it. And now you'll give it to me. Really happy with this figure, actually. I just, yeah, I can't express how much, uh, how much I appreciate that head sculpt. He's uh, definitely a standout in this uh, wave for sure. 
I hope they come out with a, a six inch black series figure for this. That'd be really cool. One up uh, the details. So uh, his robe is looking pretty good as per usual. All the little details, all the little uh, wrinkles and whatnot. The arms look pretty cool. The sleeves, I mean to say. He's got his uh, belt that holds the whole uh, ensemble together, I guess you could say. And get him into really cool uh, position. One thing I forgot to mention is actually the extra piece that he does come with. I'm probably just going to end up chucking it, but it looks like a sickle. It's got a projectile missile right there in the center. You see the blade right there? Yeah, I'm probably going to chuck that. <laughs> Toss that to the side. We'll bring in the box for one last look here. Hopefully it'll stand up. i have to lean him on the figure. So yeah, really happy and super impressed with this figure. I'll go ahead and put his head back on there. And uh, I definitely recommend you guys, if you guys get the chance to get a hold of this figure, uh, I wouldn't hesitate because I can imagine that this guy is definitely going to fly off shelves fast. He's definitely going to be a hot commodity. And um, if you guys can order him offline, all the more power to you. Save you a good bit of money on gas. He does retail for 10 bucks in store. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to try and find uh, another one. Keep him in the box uh, for cheaper price. So yeah, really happy with this figure. Definitely recommend him for your collection. And that's just about wraps up my review for Kylo Ren Unmasked. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys can uh, hit the comment section if you guys want to talk about Star Wars. You guys can have me up on PlayStation if you guys want to have a game of Battlefront. My gamer tag will be in the description below. You guys can add me on Twitter or follow me on Twitter. Sorry about that. At The Force Unboxed, all one word. That will be down in the description below. And thank you guys so much as always for watching. Have a good one.